three, two, one. Ignition. And lift off. Go Firefly, go ice space, go fast. Good morning, space flight enthusiasts. Once again, I made an early morning of it today to watch the liftoff of Falcon 9 carrying the iSpace and Firefly Aerospace moon missions. And SpaceX continues to demonstrate that Falcon 9 is the most reliable ride to space there is. So, all of that having been said, both payloads separated successfully from the rocket, and as near as we can tell, everything seems to be nominal with both craft. Although we haven't gotten a great deal of information from iSpace as of yet in regards to communications with their lander, assuming all goes well, it's still going to be several months before the Hakuto-R mission arrives at its destination, the Mara Frigoris, which is located near the lunar North Pole. Firefly claims claims that they have established communications with their spacecraft, which was deployed before the iSpace spacecraft was sent on its way, and this is going to arrive at the moon a lot earlier, although it will orbit the Earth for 25 days as Firefly tests all of the operational systems on the spacecraft thoroughly before it attempts to enter translunar injection orbit. Future Angry here, approximately two minutes prior to the recording of this piece, I received another communication from Firefly Aerospace that went as follows. On-orbit commissioning is now complete. Up next, Blue Ghost will spend approximately 25 days orbiting the Earth 3.5 times at varying altitudes that get us closer to the moon each time. So, a long ways ahead for both of these spacecraft and quite a number of milestones need to be accomplished before either of these craft are going to be landing on the lunar surface. I will keep you up to date on everything transpiring with both of these missions, so until next time, stay angry about space.